working out the chest, doing some bench along with some dips a little later, and I want to share my thoughts on it. A lot of people have had issues with incorrect form when it comes to bench by flaring the elbows out too much, basically having those elbows at a 90 degree angle to their torso, when in reality it should be more like a 45 degree angle. And as you can see, the way this device or accessory has been developed because of its elasticity, it really helps to prevent your elbows from flaring out. You really have to use muscle and exert force to be able to get your elbows out this way, which is not something you're gonna do when you have a heavy barbell above you. So this helps keep your elbows in the right angle. So when you're pressing, it helps keep them in place, avoiding injury to the chest and shoulders like I had once in the past, which is really why I ended up buying this because possibly re-injuring my shoulder. And so far this has been good. There are some pluses, there are some minuses I want to talk about. And one of the minuses I'll start with is comfort. You want to make sure you get the correct size for yourself because comfort's key in making sure you're able to use this device properly. As with many different uh, accessories or clothing items, I happen to fall right on the border between two different sizes, which is frustrating. But I felt like I didn't want to go too high and get the larger size, which didn't really have the same amount of protection because if it was larger, and there was more movement, I thought there was a more of a propensity to flare the elbows out. So I went with the smaller size on that border range. Now, that caused a bit of an issue because on the arms, being that my guns are so damn big, not really, but this prevents my arms from feeling free. I feel a little bit like I'm in a straight jack, and I guess that's part of the design feature of this device if you will but sometimes when you're really hot or you have t-shirts or a sweatshirt or something it's going to be tough to use this and get it in a comfortable position where you feel like it's at the same level on both arms and obviously when you're done between sets you feel like <laughs> one of those gym bros you know um flashy just muscle bound dickheads mike walking around like this because it doesn't allow you to let your arms go back into a natural position. As if you can bear with that for a few sets, you're golden. For me, this has been nice, but at the same time, it's been a double-edged sword. It has definitely helped correct my form, and it's definitely helped with overtraining. And the overtraining aspect I'll demonstrate with some B-roll is that when you get to the bottom, and this is stretched out over your chest, like so, you're basically getting the benefit of this elasticity to help with the rebound. And when you're there and you're using this, you know that the bench press is easier on each and every rep because that exertion that you would have to get pushing the bar off your chest from a stop, essentially, no longer really exists because you have the elasticity helping to push this up and away from your chest, which is great. The idea behind this is that you benefit from the range of motion above that to really develop the chest and the pec muscles. So this isn't really impeding with muscle development, it's aiding, and it just helps in that small range of motion in the first three inches away from the chest. Now that's a good thing, but at the same time, for me, I felt like the disadvantage was that it ends up aiding too much, and it almost feels like I developed a dependency on this device. And I didn't want that because I want to be able to bench naturally and have the strength in my bench without the aids. One of the habits I developed was using this on and off sporadically. So sometimes I would use it, sometimes I won't, but I realized or noticed when I used it consistently, I felt like I developed a dependency. And when I forgot to put this on, I felt very weak in my bench. I noticed Steve Shaw from the Massive Iron. I actually had a photo of this. He says he's had one for 20 plus years or something, the original one that came out, which is a testament to its durability and reliability. I'm sure that the newer models like this one are manufactured to the same high standards, but nonetheless, I asked him what his thoughts were on developing a dependency, and he said he himself uses it on and off, kind of intermittently. And my sense was that he did that for the same reasons that I was doing that. You know, he didn't want to develop a dependency on this device. So again, really, it's just to correct form. You don't want to use this all the time for all of your bench pressing, because then you will develop a dependency. Use it for a while, get your form where it needs to be. And from muscle memory, you should be able to know where that's at without the aid of this device and be able to get your bench where it wants. Occasionally, you can go and reincorporate it into your training when you're trying to move up with progression and you may get stuck with a plateau or something. And then this can help you get past that 
because of the rebound effect that it helps and aids with. I'll show you uh, again some video where it shows the ease of doing a set with the same number with this device and the difficulty in doing a set with the same number of reps without the device. And it definitely helps. The nice thing is that that proves that you can really overtrain the pecs and help develop muscle Whereas ordinarily without the device, you wouldn't be able to because you'd hit your ceiling, you'd hit your max. And that's why you'd be stuck without the device. When you add the device, you can get back there. I just finished one set without the device, did 10 reps at 205, and it was fine. I struggled, there was a little bit of body English on the last two or three reps. I put this on, did the second set, and it was smooth sailing. I got through all the reps, and in fact, I think if I didn't have the device for the second one, I probably would have got a max of eight reps on that second set. Whereas this allowed me to get a second set of 10 repetitions, just like I did with the first. And I'm gonna bang out a third rep now so that you can see, I probably still have that same smooth momentum and strength using the device for the third and final set. So let's go with that. All right, that was the third and final set. And you can see the momentum from first rep to last rep probably didn't change all that much. I honestly feel that like that was probably an RPE eight. I think I could have banged out two more reps at a minimum. And that was actually the easiest feeling set that I did out of the three. Now I know I had a little more time to rest between the second and third sets, but nonetheless, even though I had already fatigued my chest for the first two sets, this still helped getting me a nice clean set at the same exact 10 reps that I needed. So again, speaking to comfort wise, this definitely is restrictive, but that's the idea. If it allows you to walk with your arms naturally in between sets, then it's probably not gonna be effective under load to keep your elbows at a 45 degree angle to the torso. These are actually two different straps all the way through, they're stitched together as you can see. And both sides of the arm have the slits to help in flexibility, maybe to help evacuate some of the heat and steam from your body. All in all, it's a very effective device. Seems to be well constructed. I believe this will last me at least 10 years. Time will tell, we'll see. Uh, I actually went with this version, the reactive version. The reactive version. I Instead found this on the web. I don't care, Siri. I actually found this reactive version because the red version that I wanted, the original red version, wasn't available in stock. And I really wanted something to aid in my training right then and there because I started developing some pain in my shoulder from where the pec muscle connects to the arm. And that's where I had my, sustained my injury in the past and I didn't want to re-injure that. So I wanted to make sure I got one of these as quickly as possible. So I settled on the reactive version, which is, benefit also because this being less strong than the red version, the original version, means that I'm not getting too much aid. This one is aiding a little bit, but not quite as much as the red one would. Basically, they say if you're benching over 275, then you go with the red version, the original. Benching less than 275, you can go with this reactive, and that was actually where I sat. This was the right one for me. Maybe at some point, if my bench increases to where I'd like, I will get the red original version. And anyone else who has this and has been using it can please chime in in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts. I'm always desiring feedback from others because this is just my opinion, of course, but I feel like you don't want to use this consistently with every chest training that you do because you, I think you will develop a dependency. It's a great device. It will definitely help. And as I'll demonstrate, you can definitely get the benefit of overtraining. And I do feel like my chest is getting stronger. I haven't been feeling pain in my shoulder, but again, I have to just remember kind of sporadically using this on and off, maybe 50% of the time for my chest training. So if I'm benching three times a week, I might use it one or two times the next week. If I've used it two times the week prior, I might use it only once the next week, just to keep from developing a de uh, dependency on the device. That's pretty much it. I do think this is a phenomenal device. I definitely know for a fact that this has aided me in my bench, gaining strength 
through overtraining, keeping my form correct, and preventing a re-injury of my chest and shoulder. So on that note, this has definitely been exactly what I was looking for. At the cost, I forget what it was. I want to say somewhere around $49. I'll make sure I research that and put that on the screen before this video is posted. But nonetheless, I think it's a very effective product and at a pretty minimal cost in terms of training gear. So I didn't get that. Could you try again? I don't know what her problem is, but I guess these wrist wraps are agitating her. Anyway, definitely an effective device. If you're considering one, I definitely recommend it. And just make sure you use it sporadically and you will see some benefits and prevent some injuries. Now, once I've had this in use for probably six months straight, I'm gonna try benching more consistently without it. And then at that point when I feel like I might need the aid to help me overtrain and get past uh, a benchmark with my bench press, then I might reincorporate this into the training. But anyway, I appreciate your time. Thanks again for joining me. I gotta get back to my workout. See you on the next one.